Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I have got a really cool build here for you today. So the ask was, can you build me a powered speaker to amplify an electric drum kit? I said no problem. Went searching for parts, and it turns out that the amp module I found, not only would it take line level signals, which is what I needed for the electric drum kit, it also had microphone level inputs with EQ and Bluetooth, making this one of the most badass multi-purpose speakers I ever could have imagined. I absolutely love how it turned out. I'm super stoked to share this build video with everyone. I hope you all enjoy. And again, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. So whenever I do a build, I usually do a digital model ahead of time. So I have a template to follow, but like really, once I get in my little one car garage workshop, I'm all over the place and I often do some dumb things, but that's okay. I'm not out here selling these as products. Most of the things I'm building are just commission builds so I can make mistakes. And as you can tell by the tools I use, I'm definitely not a pro. Now, speaking of dumb things, this next move is pretty dumb. I normally would have cut out the driver holes for the speaker before I actually glued the baffle to the cabinet because if I had messed those cuts up, it would have been a real big problem. Now, I think I was so hyper-focused on getting the geometry right for this build that I kind of overlooked this step, but either way, it did work out in the end. So now that the outside panels are glued on, I'm pretty much done working with this soft wood. And now I can move to some oak. Now I love working with oak. Oak is a much harder wood, which makes it perfectly suited for me to build the stand, which needs that extra strength and also do the edge detailing on the cabinet. in previous content how much I hate sanding, but it can't be understated how important it is to get the sanding right. Start with an 80 grit and just work your way up the grits till about a 220. Your finished stained project will thank you in the end.
absolutely beautiful. All right, next thing we're going to do is apply some acoustic damping. Now I'm using two inch acoustic absorber panels and gluing them right to the inside of the cabinet. It's cheap and very effective. Now that the grill's done, we're going to install the amplifier and drive units. Now, we're not messing around with this speaker. I've gone full PA spec on this thing. So we've got an amp module that delivers 400 watts class D to a 10 inch PA woofer and 100 watts class D to a horn loaded tweeter. much about speaker building, you're probably sitting there going, huh, so he's just relying on the crossover unit in the amplifier to properly tune this speaker. And yeah, you're raising a very good question. But let's take a look at how this thing measures. It's actually not so bad. Could it be better? Absolutely. There's a 500 hertz hump here in the response that is noticeable when you're listening to music. But for its intended purpose, it's absolutely fine. This thing plays loud. It's got wicked dynamics, which is just perfect for its intended use. So I will leave you with a quick demo. Not the greatest demo. These are just quick clips that I took with my iPhone of this thing pounding away with some drum tracks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were inspired and we'll see you on the next one.